Hello everyone. This spring uh, I removed uh, a tree that um, was uh, sick and dying and uh, it started to be dangerous for uh, the winter when there's no pull down on it. So it was a big spruce uh, tree. So when I got um, the, the, the price from the different companies, so that the, one of the biggest differences was if I wanted the stamp removed or not. Uh, just for that little job it would be an extra uh, under fifty dollar because they had to run the machine and um, so I decided to 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 leave the stamp and uh, I did some research on what people do with the stamp, how to remove it, and then with like home remedies and things like that. Then I changed my mind because it just looked like too much work for me, so I decided to use it in some some way. And the first idea was to make a seat out of it, like a throne, you know, to, to overlook in my garden kind of thing. So then I changed my mind again and I look at what people do. And I saw, like I said, maybe I'm going to make a gnome house, like make a little hut, like a little roof over it and, and chisel a couple of windows and a door, put some little gnomes. And it looks very nice. I was going to do that. Then I changed my mind. And I thought maybe I'll make a table. Just put a few planks on top. I have a table right where I can work in the middle of my new uh, garden. And then I changed my mind and I did this. And it looks weird, but I wanted to show you. So I still don't know what to call it, but basically, you can see I just added uh, one, two, three, four, five new uh, garden beds where I'm going to grow vegetables. This is the tree stamp. And what I did, uh, I added, because I had lots of these pieces of stamp, so I made like a semicircle. And I built kind of a roof around it. I'm going to walk around so you can see. A little bit better from the back so I use what I had uh, these they are just like um, the thinnest pine boards that I had and these canes here they're actually sunflower canes that dried up and uh, I kept them I was going to make like a a, a trellis for uh, snow peas or something like that but then I use them in this and I just weave them like up and down to, to give an extra support. And eventually I'm going to plant some runner beans along this side. Now I have to decide if making a trench here and have other runner beans or maybe just a grow bag and have them starting from there. That one I still have to decide. And again, runner beans at the end of this bed, grow bag or trench and render beans on that bed. And then that one eventually would create a nice green roof. On top of this, I just put a pot just to remind me maybe to have some, find some flowers that they come out of the pot and they make a nice, you know, final touch. And then eventually this would be kind of like a, a cave or a tent for the kids that they can, you know, uh, crawl around, they can make their own uh, camp outs and um, that's it. And then, you know, at the same time, I'm going to get uh, the beans. So I wanted to show you just this. I don't know if it's a good idea or not. I'll keep informed how it works. It looks a bit weird, but I simply screwed on the logs. But I wanted to, to use this and so for this year, I decided to go this way, and uh, maybe next year I'm going to do something else. Thanks for watching. Take care.